it's Rosalie Brown, and I'm here to show you how to insert your two-piece wing attachment. There is a right and a left. Slide it over the rails, and then place your pin in, making sure it goes all the way through. Same thing with the other side. Place it on the rails, slide it down to the whole line up, and place your pins in. Now you're ready for your pull-ups, or your chin-ups, or you can even hang for inversion. Your ab crunch accessory goes to the top of your total gym. There is a right and a left, and it clearly says R right there. Slide it onto the rails and put it in place. The handlebars should face in towards the center. Same thing with the left. Put it on the rails, slide your pin in. Handlebars are together, and now you are ready to work those abs with a crunch. To attach your cables to your Total Gym glide board, simply slide the glide board up, take the little hole and place it right onto the hook. It helps if you take a look underneath to see what you're doing. And now you're ready for so many exercises, including biceps, triceps, and rowing. Your two-piece Press-up bars go down at the bottom of your total gym for shoulder work and ab work. Slide the glide board up and away so that you can easily place them right on top of the rails and slide the pin in. You'll notice the handle faces outwards. Same thing for the other side. Slide it onto the rails and then slide the pin in. Now let the glide board come down and you're ready for perfect shoulder work. If you want great looking arms, you're definitely gonna to wanna to use your dip bars. They look like a letter J, you get two of them. One on one side, and then that's located right underneath the Total Gym logo. Just slide it along, find the hole, put the pin into place, and then you're ready for perfect tricep dip work. If you have a Total Gym Fit model, you can add a weight bar. Just simply slide it through the holes and then using your own plates, place them on one side and then the other. 180 pounds is the max and you cannot exceed the 450 weight limit. And then lock them into place. And now you've got some serious weight to work with on your Total Gym. If Pilates is your thing, you're definitely going to want to attach the leg pulley system. Start with the bracket. It goes right to the top hole, line it up, and then you've got your long pin, which you're going to slide through the hole, feed it through, and lock it into place. Next, you're going to take the pulley, and with the pulley, you've got this D-ring. Slide the D-ring through the pulley hole. And then all you have to do is hook up the D-ring, and now you're ready to start your Pilates workout. Putting your leg cuff on is pretty simple with Total Gym. Uh, you're gonna slide your heel through that bottom loop. So take it behind your foot, slide your heel in, wrap the soft side of Velcro along your ankle, take the other side that has the open area for one of the rings to slide through. Press the Velcro into place, and you notice there's three rings, one on one side, one on the other side, and one on the back, depending on which exercise you're going to use. Grab your carabiner, slide your bench up, and then if I was to do outer hip and thigh work, I'm going to clamp it on, lie down, and I'm now ready to work the inner thighs.